Hey guys, so we have here our Sony SRS XB100 Bluetooth speaker and in this video we want to explain to you how to connect or pair this Bluetooth speaker with our Mac computer. In case you do want to pair your speaker with a Windows machine, then you can check out my other video here in the upper right corner. So first of all, we're going to start the speaker here. So we're going to power it up and then we're going to take a look here at the Bluetooth uh, LED here on top of the Bluetooth button. If this is uh, already pairing or blinking quickly, then that means it's in the Bluetooth pairing mode. If it's not the case, then just press the Bluetooth button one time. It's going to tell us that it is in the pairing mode and at this point we're going to switch over to our Mac. So here in the upper right corner, we may be able to find here already the Bluetooth icon. So when we click on that, then we can here make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. And then we're going to go on the bottom of this drop down we're going to go into enter the Bluetooth settings menu and then alternatively if we don't have the Bluetooth icon in the upper, in the upper right corner then we're just going to click on the Apple logo and then system settings and here we're going to find on the left side here in this window we're going to find Bluetooth and now here of course we still have to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and then on the very bottom of the list that's where we're finding the uh, new devices that are available to be paired to. And here eventually our SRS XP100 is going to appear. And all we have to do now is here press the connect button. Just will take a second or two and then the speaker is connected. And we can see here now what the actually the battery percentage is of the speaker. So right now the battery is still 20% charged. So it's going to be about time to recharge the speaker. Then we double check here in the sound settings that the output is set to the SRS XP100. Just make sure this is connected if we want the audio to come out of there. And if we want to use the uh, microphone that's inside of the Bluetooth speakers, then we can select this here as well if we wanted to. Okay, so and yeah, that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.